Hello friends, this is Durga again from ITVarsity. As part of performance tuning of Oracle, I will be covering how to generate an explained plan in this video using tools like SQL Plus uh, as well as the uh, SQL Developer, um, etc. So um, let's go ahead and uh, uh, see what needs to be done. So if you are uh, coming here for the first time, make sure you watch my previous videos or at least make sure that you have a schema using which you can uh, um, demonstrate and uh, whatever I'm trying to do as part of this video. So uh, um, as of now, I have created only one table called deck of cards and also I have shown, shown you how to export data using SQL developer into the uh, table deck of cards. In this video, we will be creating few more tables. Uh, the reason is if we want to generate explain plan and interpret uh, it uh, uh, we, sh we need to have uh, joins and all those things um, uh, uh, in the query otherwise uh, uh, it will not be it will not the explain pa plan might not cover all the aspects aspects that are important uh, for performance tuning for that reason i want to create a uh, uh, few more tables and all those tables needs to be related to each other so to make it to make our life easier oracle provides a load sample.sql script and uh, it is available online um, in official oracle website so you you can just search for load underscore sample.sql and you can uh, use this uh, uh, script select uh, all and then go to the uh, browser and copy paste here and uh, then delete the top three lines because the top three lines are not comments uh, ram is the sql plus style of uh, comments for oracle so you can leave uh, as is if you are using sql developer it, it, it interprets uh, those comments properly so you don't need to remove all these rams uh, in the script but if you are using other ides like pl sql developer or toad it might not support directly you might have to do a little bit of cleanup but if you are using sql developer you can go ahead and uh, leave them as is and you can run the script by clicking on this icon uh, which says run script or you can even use a shortcut S5 and then run it. It will take a while to uh, create all the tables. It creates six tables and also it inserts uh, a good amount of data uh, around 107 employees. So once you create the tables and once you insert the data and uh, you can actually choose this one and click on refresh and it will display all the tables that are created. So now the script is executed successfully without any errors and it has created tables, inserted data and all those things. So before running the script, make sure you have all the necessary permissions. It also have uh, 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 views, packages, uh, almost everything that are relevant for Oracle, uh, um, uh, Oracle SQL and PL SQL development. So make sure you, you have all the permissions. If it fails, make sure to work with your DBS and uh, uh, get all the necessary permissions and run the script. And if you have DBA, uh, role itself it will be uh, good and great that being said now we have the tables and there are uh, uh, six additional or seven additional tables other than deck of cards deck of cards is created earlier and the main table in this is the employees uh, it has 107 records it represents the uh, employees table for an organization and uh, if you click on constraints you can see that it has several foreign key constraints uh, one for department table because each employee is associated with the department uh, in an organization and the other one is job uh, table it uh, there is a differential integrity constraint or foreign key constraint to jobs table as well because each employee is associated with a job uh, id and the job id have characteristics like job title min salary max salary etc and uh, uh, there are tables like departments and jobs which have the relevant information there is a table for locations um, regions countries etc so we will be using these tables to run 
uh, uh, qu- queries using joins um, and uh, other st- other stuff uh, not only as part of this video but also going forward to explore our performance tuning um, as much as possible that being said once we have the tables ready we are ready to uh, generate the explain plan using tools like sql developer as well as sql plus so before getting into details let's explain briefly about what is sql plus sql plus is a client based uh, interface provided by oracle itself to connect to the database uh, running on a remote server that is one of the tools which you can use but sql plus is not as popular as it used to be earlier uh, uh, now a lot of guys are using uh, tools like Oracle SQL Developer because SQL Plus requires uh, Oracle Client to be installed um, on your PC. Whereas uh, tools like SQL Developer uh, don't need to have the Oracle Client installed. It only requires JDBC drivers to connect to the uh, databases on the remote servers. But still the administrators are going on to the SQL Plus. So I want to start with SQL Plus first and then come back to SQL Developer which is useful for uh, developers, testers, etc. So to connect to the SQL Plus, uh, if you are a DBA, you will be logging into the server using whatever user you have permissions with. In this case, I am using Oracle Cloud and Oracle Cloud uh, by default permits only with a user called OPC uh, with a passwordless login. So I am using that user called OPC here and now I am getting into the server uh, from my PC. Now I am on the server and then if you want to launch SQL Plus, you can just run as SQL Plus and you can give the username. In this case, username is ptuning and uh, you can actually uh, give the seed if you want okay before that i have to actually uh, sudo to oracle user or i have to set the environment variables so that i can actually connect to sql plus and then i can use this syntax and hit enter it will ask for the password we have to enter the password and you are inside so sometimes you might not be able to if this is incorrect for that you have to go through tnsname.org file and see and that you have an entry with this uh, alias um, tns alias that being said now you are in the sql plus and here there are several ways where you can actually generate the explain plan um, first you need to make sure that you have uh, uh, right permissions if you are dba it is well and good Otherwise, you need to have uh, uh, certain permissions to uh, to generate the explain plan. And uh, um, before, uh, if, so if you have any issues generating the explain plan, and if you don't have DBA permission, work with your DBA in your organization to get those explain plans. And if you are a sys DBA or a DBA, you will be definitely running. Uh, you will be definitely able to run um, uh, the explain plans without any issues. So the most uh, uh, fundamental and a legacy way of generating explain plan is by running a command called set auto trace and it has two options um, actually three options one is off other one is on and trace only by default it's off if you want to set it on you can do on or you can actually say trace or trace only both are same trace or trace only are same a trace is just a, a shortcut even auto t is a shortcut so you can actually do auto t also here it's the same thing that's why they have enclosed in square brackets like this this is not uh, mandatory to type everything so first let us understand the difference between on and trace on actually runs the query generates the explain plan and also give the overhead of the query about how much uh, io it has done etc Whereas trace only, it will run the query, but it will not emit the output um, onto the SQL plus uh, command line interface. It will just uh, run the query and then it will generate the explain plan and it will show the uh, overhead to run the query. So let us do set auto trace on first. And also it has additional uh, 
details like explain statistics you can uh, 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 you can use that explain statistics command to get more details about uh, uh, about your query so let us say set auto trace on explain statistics and then uh, run query called select count of one from employees e join departments d on e dot employee id sorry e dot department id because the primary key form key relationship is based on the department id not employee id equal to d dot department id and hit enter you can see that it gave uh, uh, the cost of uh, means uh, the output for the query so there are 106 records in the table and it has given the explained plan for the query which we will be interpreting as part of the next video by writing a little bit more complex query but this is how the explained plan looks like and then it has given the information uh, uh, about the predicate and, and dynamic sampling used for this and also it showed the statistics of the query okay so this is uh, how it will look like when you set auto trace on explained statistics it will give all the details and then if you say set explained statistics is default it will show you irrespective of uh, whether uh, you irrespective of whether you use uh, explained statistics or not and uh, now you can run set auto trace trace only and uh, you can copy paste this query or actually you can run l command if you are using sql plus to retrieve the previous query to make sure that you are running the right query and then type slash and hit enter and it will rerun the query in the form of set auto trace trace only and the difference is here there is no output for the query displayed here it executes the query behind the scenes but it only shows the explained plan and the statistics it will not actually uh, show the output for count uh, it does not make much sense but if you are trying to query a lot of data as part of uh, uh, as part of the query you are trying to run and uh, 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 what will happen is it will take very long time just to display uh, the query results before generating the explained plan and the statistics to avoid uh, unnecessary, uh, unnecessarily displaying the results on SQL pairs, uh, you can set auto trace trace only when you use this most primitive form of generating the explained plan. And uh, apart from set auto trace, and let me set auto trace off. Okay, now if I run the query, it will just give me the results. Or let me run it again using l and then slash there are 106 records matching that query now there is a alternative way and uh, 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 the most relevant way of current uh, uh, of the current day it is uh, uh, it is a uh, it is called as explain plan for so it's a two-step process you have to uh, for each and every query uh, where you want to see the explain plan you have to run a command called explain plan for what it will do is it will store the output into a plan table uh, which is a system table and then it will actually um, show the uh, results by running something called tabular function so let me explain you so there will be a table called plan table okay it's a system table and it will be uh, everyone who have permissions to generate the explained plan will have the um, capability to query this table and you have these many fields in the table and if you directly query this table then the results will not look good for that reason there is a alternative way where they provide the package uh, called explain dbms underscore explain which you can leverage uh, 
to read the output from uh, the, the results in the plan table in more user friendly fashion. So let me demonstrate you so that you understand. So it will look like this. You can give any query here. And I am using uh, the same query. Okay. So it will look like this explain plan for, and you can do whatever query you are trying to run. And now it says explain planned. And now if you do select count of one from plan table, there are three entries in the table. And if you try to query directly from plan table, it will not look good. I don't want to run it. You can try if you want search star from plan table. And then there is this dbms underscore explain dot display. So dbms underscore explain is Oracle package. And it has a method called display which will format the output um, in the plan table and uh, show you in a more user friendly fashion so you can run this query and you can show the uh, you can see the results but but uh, typically this uh, uh, when you query from uh, plan table using this package uh, or function or, uh, it is actually called as a tabular function uh, using this tabular function it will typically show you the uh, explain plan only it will not show the statistics um, because it will it will not try to run the query uh, behind the scenes it will just show you the output from the plan table okay so that's the difference between uh, set auto trace method and here it will actually it will not only show the explain plan it will also run the query and it will show the uh, statistics about the overhead to run the query so it is important to understand the statistics also which i will be covering uh, as part of the future videos so this is how you can actually look at explain plan and uh, uh, you can whatever we have done we can do it using sql developer also provided you log in uh, with a relevant user which have permissions here we can directly run this query And then you can also do select plan table and you can see the explain plan uh, of the query here. So this is how you can generate the explain plan either by using SQL plus or the SQL developer. And as part of the next video, we will see how we can interpret by writing a more complex query. Uh, and we will, um, we will just see how we can um, interpret the query.